Hello, and welcome back to the CES uh, podcast from BrainChip for all things AI. And uh, our current guest is Kalpesh Chauhan, who's the Vice President of Technology, effectively an evangelist for uh, VBDN Technologies. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Nandan, for having me here. It might be useful to uh, give our listeners a little bit about VBDN. I think that's, you guys are pretty famous but probably people don't know the extent of what VBDN does. Yeah, so VBDN is a, a, a product engineering, a software servicing, and a manufacturing company. So we call it ourselves as an engineering-led manufacturing company. Uh, we uh, design, develop, and uh, manufacture the electronics product, uh, ranging uh, from the Vision, IoT, networking, Wi-Fi, and uh, 5G. Yeah, I mean, that is... a uh... How big is Vividian these yeah. days? So Vividian has uh, about 12,000 plus employee at this moment. And uh, we have uh, 11 plus design and delivery centers uh, span across the India. And we also have uh, seven manufacturing facilities, uh, which is located uh, near to Delhi. Okay. Uh, and uh, obviously you've been at CES uh, many times before. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you see different in CES 2024? I think uh, AI is becoming uh, more and more prominent uh, day after day, and uh, we are finding a use case of AI, which is helping uh, us reducing the workload, becoming more efficient, and also increasing the productivity, right? So I'm seeing that, uh, you know, till last year, AI was just a buzzword, uh, but now we are seeing uh, real world applications that is enhancing the human lives, uh, uh, you know, and that's what I think uh, it's new and exciting uh, for uh, CS 2024. And I mean, obviously you've been involved with quite a few uh, big companies that contract you to build yep. uh, some of these uh, uh, devices and services yep. for yep. them. Uh, what are the areas of uh, excitement and growth right now that you see? So industry-wise, we are seeing AI proliferating into uh, many industries, vertical, like medical infrastructures, uh, smart cities, and uh, uh, vision, definitely, uh, and the robotics, autonomous vehicles, right? So a lot of industrial areas we are seeing and uh, we are, uh, you know, our customers are asking us to design a product around it with a more uh, AI uh, uh, in it. And so that brings me to one of my favorite topics right now and uh, uh, a great way to collaborate, which is the Edge AI box that uh, uh, BBDN has designed uh, with BrainChip uh, as the key accelerator in yes. it. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about where that type of box can go and what kind of applications run on it? See, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, thank you. So that's uh, very interesting, right? So this box is uh, primarily uh, uh, can run uh, any AI algorithm, right? So the use case of box is pretty wide. Uh, I'll be specific, but uh, the, the use case of this box is that any cameras, uh, right, whether it's a smart camera or uh, uh, a non-smart camera, which is just capturing the picture and transferring the video, uh, you can connect with this AI box and then run analytics, whatever analytics you want to run on it. And then, uh, you know, uh, so it is making a dumb camera, a smart camera. And also on top of that, uh, you know, it, it allows to run the AI algorithm use case specific uh, on it and uh, generated data, which can be useful to take a decision and uh, warnings and generating uh, other alarming conditions. And so what kind of verticals do you think would use that? Because clearly making um, a vision and, and a, a camera smart, it can be used across a lot yeah. of things, right? So where do you think that there's the most need today? So a lot of verticals, right? For example, uh, uh, in case of medical, right? This box can be used uh, to detect uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, anomalies, or I would say like uh, patient monitorings or or uh, uh, equipment monitorings or uh, 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 many other things which right now dependent on a person, which can be easily, uh, you know, uh, can be uh, run in this box and can uh, can be uh, uh, make it more productive and efficient, right? 
Another area is, I would say, uh, security and surveillance, right? So right now, security and surveillance, uh, you have a camera which records, uh, uh, you know, 24-7 and you need a huge recording space or if you are, uh, you know, uh, storing it in a cloud, you need a huge bandwidth and also a huge cloud space. Uh, this box, when hooked up, you know, it can, it can reduce uh, the uh, storage bandwidth, uh, the, the network bandwidth and the cloud bandwidth to a significant uh, uh, you know, numbers. Uh, I would say it can it can uh, uh, reduce it by a hundred times. Also, in some of the cases, because uh, most of the time when you put a camera, the the uh, uh, the pictures are no, uh, normally are not uh, you know relevant, but we still store it and transfer it. Right, those kind of situation can be avoided uh, with this box. And so clearly, uh, you know, edge boxes have been around. Yes. Right. So what are the characteristics that Brainchip brings to, to this edge box yeah. uh, that you feel make it differentiate for the market? Yeah, see, so the the main uh, thing about edge box is, uh, edge box are there, but uh, main main uh, uh, power that Brainchip brings is the analytics on top of it, right? And uh, when I say analytics, uh, you know, Brainchip, uh, Akeda chip are very power efficient and it's a self-learning chip, right? So again, the training requirement is very less and the results uh, uh, that we get out of it are much more efficient and powerful, right? So I think uh, uh, adding a powerful AI analytics chip on the age box is making age box more smarter and more efficient. Yeah, uh, and I, I certainly think there's there's a lot of truth to the fact that the more efficient you get, right? Uh, you need less bomb. Yes. yes. You need uh, less uh, uh, active cooling. Yes. Uh, so that changes the game. It changes the form factor. We find that useful. Obviously makes it more portable. More portable. Yes. And the, this box is very small. I think uh, it's probably the smallest box available uh, uh, in the market. And again, the casing is plastic, right? So there are small box, but then you see the, all the metal casing and fan and everything. Uh, this is a uh, you know, plastic box and uh, again, thermal and everything is self-contained. So it's, it's pretty efficient. Yeah. yeah. So, and so effectively uh, from your experience, something that is cost-effective, light, portable uh, becomes more easily scalable. Yeah, easily scalable. And people like to use it, right? Uh, uh, it can be mounted everywhere, uh, anywhere, and uh, you can uh, uh, put it and run a camera to it, run analytics, right? So again, it's a uh, power and uh, uh, size is always a factor, right? Cool. So, I mean, I, I certainly, you know, uh, like where this is going. Yeah. Um, but I'd also um, like to see what, do you have any thoughts about what, 2024 would look like for VDN. Um, any predictions of where uh, you see the growth uh, that you have? Yeah, so I think uh, overall, uh, uh, we are very excited uh, uh, about 2024. We see a huge growth uh, in terms of uh, intelligent products, uh, uh, niche products are coming up. A uh, lot of technical technology developments are happening in many fields, uh, which uh, we would leverage it. And uh, yeah, we, we see a huge growth in terms of customer base and technology and uh, where, where the things are going. Yeah, Very good. Well, Kalpesh, thank you for your time. Thanks for coming by and uh, look forward to uh, a continued collaboration for mutual success. Thank you. Thank you, Nandan. I appreciate you calling me here and thank you so much. Yes.